Over the last several months, a number of devices have been released that claim compatibility with a new generation of wireless technology called Wi-Fi 6. These include the Samsung S10 and iPhone 11 series phones, as well as the latest iPad Pro tablets. But what exactly is Wi-Fi 6? And how much of a difference will it make to you? To understand this, we have to go back in time and look at how Wi-Fi technologies have been named in the past. Wi-Fi 6 is the sixth generation of wireless technology for local area networks. You may not have heard of Wi-Fi 5 or previous versions, as it wasn't until 2018 that the Wi-Fi Alliance decided to adopt this naming convention. Previous names made use of the number 802.11, which was created by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, or IEEE for short. So in 1999, 802.11b was adopted alongside 802.11a. Then in 2003, we saw 802.11g, followed by N in 2009, AC in 2014, and eventually the sixth generation named AX in 2019. So what is the difference between these generations of Wi-Fi? Well, the main difference is something called link rate. This is the potential maximum speed that can be achieved between your device and the router. This is measured in megabits per second. Now, don't confuse this with megabytes, which you may be more familiar with. One megabyte is equal to eight megabits, meaning a one megabyte per second download speed requires an eight megabits per second connection. If we have another look at our table, we can see the potential maximum speed of each generation of Wi-Fi. I keep using the term potential because its maximum can achieve speeds beyond almost all home internet connections. 9,608 megabits per second is 1,201 megabytes per second, an internet speed most of us can dream of. So if the maximum speed is far and beyond what the internet connection is, does Wi-Fi 6 even matter? Well, yes, all of that link rate doesn't have to go to one device. In fact, the introduction of Wi-Fi 6 really supports the growing range of devices connected to the router at home. When the fifth generation of Wi-Fi was introduced, the average number of devices connected to a router at home was around five. Fast forward to 2020 and this has doubled. Smart TVs, phones, tablets, laptops, desktops, games consoles, smart speakers, light bulbs, security cameras, as the smart home grows, a new generation of Wi-Fi is needed to keep up with it. Particularly in households with several people and several of each of those devices, that puts the router under some serious strain. Wi-Fi 6 introduces technology that means faster speeds are more likely to be maintained with so many devices connected. There are also other benefits to upgrading to Wi-Fi 6 too. These include targeted wake time, which allows connected devices to determine how often they wake up to send and receive data. This can have a positive impact on battery life. Another benefit is WPA3, a new security protocol previously optional on older devices, but compulsory on newer routers to get the Wi-Fi 6 certification from the Wi-Fi Alliance. This provides greater encryption and makes it harder to hack your Wi-Fi. To take full advantage of Wi-Fi 6, you'll need compatible devices, such as the iPhone 11 or iPad Pro. Older devices are still compatible with Wi-Fi 6 routers, but won't reap all of the benefits. You'll also need a Wi-Fi 6 router, such as this one, the Netgear Nighthawk AX6000, featuring all of the benefits we've discussed, but also including smartphone router setup, Smart Connect, which selects the fastest bands for each connected device, as well as voice control with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. Check the link in the description for more details, and I'll be making a tutorial for this particular router very soon. That's it for this overview on the benefits of Wi-Fi 6. If you found this video useful, please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll be back soon with some more tutorials.